Hey guys, Stealth here. Back with episode 15. Now, last time around I captured King Dao, so this is going to give me another 15 points per turn. But they're pushing back into Pyongyang. So let's have a look at what they actually have there. They do have a little bit of what is pretty much left of their forces. An anti-air company and a tank regiment. Although, regiment wouldn't really cut it because they only have six tanks. Versus my multinational force consisting of 160 infantry units, 34 support units, 18 tanks and 31 recons. As well as 30 vehicles, 6 helicopters and 10 aircraft. Good luck with that. Now, my most important investment is going to be holding all of these zones to get the income and then push right into them. This is going to be a very, very short battle. Alright. Most points will go towards holding the zones, just because that way I can get most of the income that I need. Let's go with some AT, let's say Legionnaires, right there in the front. One uh, kilometer range on those missiles. Let's push in with a few tanks from this side. One recon to help him out bit behind because he has more than enough reconnaissance range to do that. They can and probably will come up against this side as well. Let's go with the recon there and another VBL. That's it. That should be all I need. Offload. He's getting blown up there with the infantry in sight. They're getting hit so hard by those tanks that they don't really stand a chance. Okay, Jim's flying in. Let's kick this battle group. Ponge. Basically fire and maneuver at this stage. One tank can fire. Relocating the second one. Kill. Kill. John Maho command tank there. 120, that's the last one then. Got it. Done. Okay, tank regiment destroyed. No friendly losses. And that means Pyongyang is currently safe. Now, the Enterprise here is going to move a little bit east because I will be needing their support aircraft or their aircraft as support while trying to push into Chongjin. Then Chun might be impossible with what I have there. I'm facing 36 T-72s. They do have 16 Shilka, so air support is difficult. And the Melyutkas as well as Type 92s are armed with pretty high impact AT weaponry. The balls, of course, are not really important here because I don't have any ships in the first place. But I only get um, K1A1s in here, and they're not that great. At least not while defeating or trying to defeat the T-72s. So I may have to avoid this battle and pull back into Wonzan after a little bit. And unfortunately I cannot use the anti-tank company to reinforce this group. That would help. They still have... oh, this could be interesting. Um, unfortunately, these guys don't actually have a command unit, so they're more a placeholder than anything else. The rest of my aircraft cannot go anywhere or do anything. I can just R&R &R these guys. And... Yeah, every aircraft here looks good. Don't really need that. Okay, end the turn. China has deployed their special forces group to pull out the North Korean Supreme Leader. I don't think that they're going to work it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm worried about. K1s, insufficient numbers, might be able to defeat T-72Ms. But, usually T-72Ms all spawn in Charlie, so that's um, with their starting points of 1200. They can and usually will deploy at least 20 of these. With 1,200 points, I can deploy somewhere along the lines of 10 to 15 of these. So it's going to be a slugging match. 
And I'm not really generally for those. K1A1s are slightly better at 18 frontal armor and 20 penetration. Let's see, my penetration of 15 is going to go through there, but it's going to take a few rounds. So right now I'm not going to do this battle. I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to pull them out. And let's see if I can move these air wings. Yep, I can move the air wings. Okay. The Enterprise is going to steam north. It seems that Chongjin currently is empty. So let's try to capitalize on that. Send in the airborne units. Look at that, Chongjin is just empty. It is just empty. Works for me. That means that this campaign may very well end this episode. Land it. Yep, captured it. Land. Land. Good. Well, that was easy. I guess I completely surprised the hell out of the Russians there. Maybe if I defeat the last group here in Pyongyang, which is just an anti-air company, that could very well end this episode and this campaign, because this is not a command unit. Goodbye. Yep, we got it. Oh, this is crazy. I think I did this in nine turns, but I'd have to look at that. And I didn't defeat all of the Russian... I, I don't think I even came up against any of the Russian forces. But by just clever maneuvering and using the strategic value of those very, very long reach of the Japanese airborne group, you can just push these guys very, very quickly. So, um, very, very short last episode. I thought it would be longer, but uh, this is all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed this campaign. I didn't really see that many changes from the Wish Dreams mod, but I had a good time playing it anyways. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please hit like. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm probably going to be doing the next campaign after this one which will be Climb Mount Narotnia, which is still one that I have to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the campaign, and I'll see you next time.